In this new Geopogo Cities update, we're going to be walking you through the new generative AI tools that will help transform your renderings. Okay, so we're going to be taking a look here at the new AI generation tools in Geopogo Cities. And we're going to walk us through start to finish, uh, first beginning with Cities. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new map. Now, remember in creating a new map that we have the ability here to click on location. This is down here at the bottom left. And we can go ahead and we can enter in our latitude and longitude coordinates for where our project is located. Or we can go ahead and we can select a city from our drop down menu here. And so let's go to example, let's go to Phoenix, Arizona, and we're going to go ahead and click the green button. And here this data now automatically loads for us of the great city of Phoenix, Arizona. Now remember also we have our data layers panel menu that lets you turn on and off different data sets. So currently we're looking at the terrain level but we may want to turn on the Google Maps data as well. And so we can turn that on and then we'll turn off the terrain layer. And let's go take a look here and here's downtown Phoenix. And so remember, I'm moving around using my mouse and the WASD keys to look around the city. Now we have a free fly camera in addition to the target orbit camera. And so we can go ahead here and click free fly mode and now using my keys WSD and my mouse I can freely fly around the city and so here we go this is the skyline of Phoenix and so let's position the camera somewhere about right here and just to show in other data layers we also have the OSM data layer sets so we can turn that on and then just simply turn off the Google Maps data and you can turn on the terrain data for that as well if your visualization requires OSM data. Or we can turn that off and then go back here to the Google Maps no shadows data. Now what's different between this Google Maps no shadow data and this Google Maps data is this Google Maps data allows you to see shadows projecting from the buildings. The models can get a little bit darker. That's why we like to um, include this data that although it doesn't project shadows, it does appear brighter. So let's go ahead and import a model into our scene. And so I'm gonna go menu, import, JLB. And I'm gonna find a model here that I've exported from Revit. It's called Tower 3. Perfect. And then I can position that tower beautifully on site. There we go. And then I can go into my time settings. I can adjust the time. And I can go into the sky settings and I can adjust the sunlight intensity and also the skylight intensity. There we go. Now, over time, we do expect to significantly increase the runtime graphics of the application, giving users more control of runtime graphics. So you could choose then to render just within the application itself, or you can use the AI tools we've embedded or your own favorite AI tools um, within the application. So remember, we can adjust cloud coverage. We can adjust the fog amount. And I'll just do something like this. I do like to see the mountains in the background. We can adjust the skylight intensity. We can move the clouds around. And then for night scenes, if I go to nighttime here, beautiful, and go back to sky, you can turn off the skylight and sunlight intensity. And you can turn on the star intensity. And one day again the vision is for all city building lights one day to turn on and i do believe we will get there sometime this year so to finish my scene i'm just going to go back and 
let's just do a nice nice daytime scene here I'm gonna go back and just turn on my skylight intensity I'm gonna focus in on my tower now remember we do have a speed tool that lets you increase how fast you fly around and so that's very quick and then I can drop this all the way down to a low number and that is now very slow so let's just come here and I'm just gonna find just a nice scene for my new tower in the city I'm gonna adjust my field of view perfect and I'm just going to go back one more time. I'm just going to find something interesting, just an interesting view here. Because remember, even though we have this Google Maps API data, we can enhance the data now using image to image generation with AI. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. We also do expect the Google Maps API data to refine over time from Google, or at some point, the GeoPogo team may even build out our own city data sets also. So I think this looks pretty good here. I'm just gonna click on the tower. Let's drop it a little bit more into the earth. And I'm gonna hit render. So render menu. For the resolution, you can adjust your screen resolution. I'm gonna to go to the 3840 and I'm gonna hit capture. Perfect. Okay, so from here, we're gonna click on AI and we're gonna see our image here. And so this is it in the image generator. We're using the OpenAI API to do this. Now remember, the OpenAI API for image to image generation is really great at recreating scenes. It likes to reimagine scenes, it likes to add new details. The API at the moment is not well tuned for simply enhancing um, images. The dream is that we, able to, we will be able to take a scene like this and ask it to make it completely photorealistic, which it will. And we think it will either come from updates of OpenAPI or using other AI engines like Stable Diffuse, uh, we will achieve this. And, and we do get close. We're about 80 to 90% there. And, and so we're gonna give that a shot right now. So for example, we have our street scene uh, with our tower design in the background. And we're gonna say, uh, enhance, enhance the street. And small buildings, add people and cars. Keep the large tower the exact same. Now, you're going to want to play around with these prompts. Uh, I would recommend trying different things, uh, asking it to um, ultimately add to the scenes, which it's really good at, and, and seeing what kind of results you come out from there. The team also is going to be exploring with creating auto-generated prompts. So really good prompts we've created that will also help you achieve what you're looking for. And you'll see that come out in each update. So now we're gonna to go to our output quality, which I'm gonna to put to high, and our count. So I recommend uh, just one image at a time. And we're going to hit generate. Now the image generation can take uh, a couple seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, uh, really depends on the API calls, uh, but just let it do its thing. And you will see a folder pop up that uh, has your image embedded. So we'll, uh, we'll take a look from there. Okay, and let's take a look at what it has produced. Oh yes, and look at that. So you can see here immediately that it's gone and it has completely enhanced the Google Maps API data. So if we do a side-by-side -side comparison, and so you'll see here, you can go immediately to generate a video after, um, or you can stay with this image. And uh, let's just hit cancel real quick. So here's our scene uh, with the Google Maps API data. And uh, here is what it has produced. And I, I think that's pretty good. You can see here that it has taken a look at some of the detail 
uh, from the buildings around it and it's gone in and it's thrown in detail um, where the Google Maps API did, it didn't have it. Uh, but I'm really satisfied with that. I think that's good. And again, it's always gonna work when you ask it to add things to the scene. And, and, and so that's the main purpose. You wanna get the city detail and then get it to enhance that city detail. So let's go to the next part, which is render, AI, video generator. We're then gonna scroll down. And so you'll see our AI images here and you'll see the little AI icon that's at the top of the image. And this is now in the video generator. And so you can simply ask it to do things like animate the scene. You can also ask it to adjust the time of day. You can ask it to go from daytime to nighttime, turn on city lights. You can ask it to adjust the weather. Perhaps maybe you want it to rain or snow and it should be able to do that for you. You can also adjust the duration. So right now we can do five second or 10 second video generations. So you can pick from there. And we're gonna go ahead and click generate. Okay, and here we have it. Let's take a look. Oh, just fantastic. So you can see here it's animated the cars. It has the people walking within our scene. And that is just perfect. And again, you can do this for, we're gonna hit cancel, go back, orbit camera. And we're just gonna do one more. I wanna show you one more thing. So here's our scene, free flight camera. I'm gonna zoom down. I'm gonna show us just one more thing it's really good at. So here's our site with our building. I'm gonna adjust some of the things here, maybe a little more overcast. Okay. A little tiny fall in the distance. I think that's okay for right now. And again, remember the team is working to significantly enhance the runtime graphics as well. Also within reason, the more we enhance the graphics, the more powerful the computer is gonna be needed. Uh, but we're working at it every single day. So I think I like this scene right here. That looks pretty good. Hit render. I'm gonna capture my screenshot. So there that is right here. Go to AI. So this is it right here, the image zero. And make sure right now it's on video generator. Make sure you click on image generator. So again, image zero. And let's do this. Now watch this, it likes to add things. So you can say something like add a park with grass and trees and play ground equipment to the dirt areas in front of the tower. Add people and cars. And we're gonna hit generate. Okay, perfect. So that's complete. Take a look at the image and look at that. So it's now gone in and within that scene where the dirt was, it's gone ahead and created a park. And of course, same thing. You can hit video generator. You can go ahead, click on your AI image, video generator, type in the prompt, what you want it to do and set your duration and hit generate. Okay, everyone. I'll put the video at the end. Please reach out for any questions. We are always happy to do demos. And remember the platform is updating week over week and we have really beautiful plans over the course of the summer. And with your feedback and input, we're gonna make it even better. Thank you.